a thing. I saw on the PlugShare map that a new charging station location had been activated here in Livermore, just northeast of where I am in San Jose. It is the Electrify America high-speed CCS charging stations, the ones that Volkswagen was required to put in as part of their penance for Dieselgate. And last time I tried to come here, it was a Saturday afternoon, and half the stations were dead, the other half were blocked by people either not charging or driving gas cars. But now I can actually give it a proper try, see how it works. I haven't yet had a chance to try my bolt on this set of stations yet. I know I'm not going to get the full 150 kilowatts, but in theory I should get up to 86 kilowatts depending on state of charge, battery voltage, how the charging station is going and so on. Oh, and of course I need to unplug because I was plugged in and took too long. So one good thing that Electrify America is doing is no smart cards, no apps, no nothing special, just put in a credit card and go. So they accept chip as well as swipe. So it'll go beep, authorize the payment, and unfortunately it is a dollar a session plus 35 cents a minute, but it also doesn't faff around. I can have it send me a receipt. I'm gonna say no to protect my phone number and should start in just a moment or so. Obviously has to do all the safety checks because we are talking up to 500 volts DC at up to 150 kilowatts. I actually arrived here with about uh, 56. I did a little testing on another station earlier and should think for a moment, think for a moment. And we are getting 41 kilowatts. Now 39, not quite the 80 something I was hoping for and certainly nowhere near the 150 that I could possibly get, but we'll check in in a few minutes and see where we are. Maybe it takes a little while to ramp up, or maybe my state of charge is already too high. And just a quick double check in the car here, confirming that I am actually getting 37, 36, 37 kilowatts. I double checked that the heater is off, so not getting any massive drain from that. It's just not charging as fast as it should be. Hmm. So while the car does its thing, figured I'd check out some of the other stations. One of the problems I did notice when I came here before was you hit the pricing button and quite a few of them say no price available. And that does not mean that it's a free charge. I tried to put it in my card down here, for example, and I'll make a fool of me now and not do it again. Yeah, it goes bee doo dee doo That means nothing. It literally means that it did nothing. Unfortunately, this station is still dead about a week later, showing the rather unhelpful network error. Oh boy. So the payment terminal is down, but it doesn't really matter because the station itself is down too. This station right next to where I'm charging my car successfully, albeit slowly, the pricing, now it also says no price available, and again, network error. What's going on, Electrify America? Now this one is particularly interesting. Don't know if you noticed, but you can see on the plug it says up to 350 kilowatts rather than 150, which is Really interesting. Now it's going to give it a try, except, oh boy, I don't even have to check to see. It's going to say price not available. Now this one doesn't say network unavailable. The payment terminal seems quite happy. Only problem is, again, no price available. Yeah, the payment terminal just goes boop and doesn't do anything when that happens. Uh, it may seem a little CCS heavy here, but don't worry, of the 20 plugs, they have one Shodemo plug, so Nissan, Kia, you're not left in the cold, except you are because, oh no, no price available. Oh well, at least the EV Go stations here seem to work okay. 
Well, I think I'm going to end my charging session now because even though my battery state of charge is only 69% or 70%, it's already slowed down to 23 kilowatts. I think this is the bolt actually throttling at this point, not the charging station, but yeah, six minutes only really added 3.3 kilowatt hours and it's gonna cost me $3.11. That's a bit expensive, so I'll go ahead and end that. Here's a nice summary, and if I wanted to, it would send it to me as a text message, which is cool. I am, de these stations definitely are not ready for prime time yet. There are 10 dual port stations. Six of them are down with network issues. One of them is just dead and two of them are charging too slowly, so good that two of them work out of ten, but we'll see. Thankfully there are plenty of backups. Hope you found this interesting. Uh, hopefully less disappointing than I did, but it's for science. See you next time.